So today, while Frank is finishing off some of the big boy stuff in the van, um, some more conduit, a little more of the timber walls and the ceiling, I thought I would get a start on our headboard and footboard for the bed. Um, we are leaving a little bit of a gap in between the timber walls, head and foot, so we do have that extra space to stretch out. Um, so we're going to use this recycled vintage fabric, which I love. I love the pattern. It's a really nice texture. Has these gorgeous little tassels on it. Um, so first, I'll have to cut some timber to size. Um, then we will upholster it with the earth wool um, so that we still have that insulation in it. I figured there was no point in going and buying um, extra foam when we had the earth wool, which was nice and eco. And then, to finish it off, we're going to pop these little buttons, which are really cute. Um, they'll go into the fabric like this and it'll end up having that nice Chesterfield effect where it's pulling through um, and looking all pretty and plush uh, while still keeping it nice and thin so that we have plenty of headroom. So time to make a start. So first things first, I'm off to the man cave to cut some timber. Don't tell Frank I'm going inside because I'm not allowed in here. Shh. This will be the back of the headboard, obviously. Um, and then the earth wall is going to go on top, and then the fabric, and we'll put all the little buttons in, and away we go. So back onto the headboard today, we have had a couple of days off but back into it today. So I'm going to measure out where I'm going to drill holes on here which will be where the buttons end up going for the upholstery. So I'm thinking, Frank if this is okay with you, I'm thinking four across the top, three in the middle, another four and then another three. I think it'll be symmetrical but I need to have a bit more of a play around with it just to make sure that it's all going to look right. So that's what we're doing now.
Okay, so we are popping the buttons in the headboard. Yep. So, cut some string, loop it over in half, feed it through the needle, which ideally should be very easy, but I was a little too small. <laughs> then we find the hole in the back of the board, feed through it until the needle pops out the top. Trying to keep it nice and straight. Quite difficult to get through because it's such a thick fabric. I'll just hold from underneath to make sure that it doesn't pop through. Okay, and then undo that. Grab one of our buttons and feed that through the back. Again, easier said than done. Then we tie a little knot around here. You can do a double, but I'm just going to do a single. Just to try and keep it as flat as possible. Then we turn it over again. Get your two strings. Get a bit of tension on there. I'm going to tie a single knot to start with and just get as much tension as you can. That's going to pull it really nice and tight on the other side. You can see how the knot keeps going through the drill hole. So we just need to make a couple more knots like this to stop it from popping through. Hopefully by the third one that is enough. Great. Then we'll tie a couple of knots like this, making sure that it's down nice and low. And this will actually stop the string from popping through the hole completely. So three of these is perfect. Pull it nice and tight, trim off the excess. Then if we flip it back over, just need to give it a little twist, a little bit of a wiggle, pop that string back in. And there we go. Little button. So now I only have another 10 to go. Okay, so headboards are now finished and I'm super, super happy with them. Looks all right. Looks pretty good. Loving the little tassels. <laughs> <laughs> and even the footer looks awesome. And this nice little finish here, thanks to Fancy Frank's input, very happy. So once the mattress goes in, it'll come up to about here and just looks nice and finished, yay.